Welcome back to St. Louis 11 News at 7. Missouri voters will see a familiar question on the ballot later this year regarding police funding. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains why the state Supreme Court is tossing out previous election results. Last month, the state's highest court said that voters were misled on a constitutional amendment on the 2022 ballot. Amendment 4, which was overwhelmingly approved by voters, would require Kansas City to spend more money on its police department. It's a question that Missourians will get to decide on again in August. I was surprised by the, the decision. Um, you know, I, of course, have read the opinion, um, disagree with it on a number of different levels. Republican Senator Tony Luke DeMeyer is the main lawmaker behind Amendment 4. Granted an authorization to the legislature to raise the minimum funding for a police department uh, that's under the governance of a board of police commissioners. The only agency that falls under that category is the Kansas City Police Department. When voters hit the polls in 2022, more than 63 percent approved the measure. Voters in Missouri uh, believe that we should stand with our men and women in law enforcement. If there's going to be some you know, liberal big city mayor that wants to defund them. I think the people of Missouri think that that's a bad idea. But it was followed by a lawsuit from Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas over the cost of the referendum, who said Missourians were told a lie. On the 2022 ballot, it says state and local governmental entities estimate no additional cost or savings related to this proposal. Instead, Lucas's lawsuit says this would cost the city millions. The Missouri Supreme Court siding with Lucas, saying increasing funding for KC police from 20 to 25 percent would cost more than $38 million, which is why election results were tossed. The question will really be identical. The only potential difference will be uh, in the fiscal summary. This week, Governor Mike Parson announced the question will be on the August ballot, even though in the opinion the court ordered a November election. You know, the governor has the constitutional authority to move something to the August ballot, a constitutional issue, if he wants to. In a statement, a spokesperson for the mayor said, Mayor Lucas remains proud of his court win over Secretary Ashcroft on behalf of Kansas Citians and all Missourians that upheld the right of Missouri voters to have fair and accurate ballot language. In the plain language of its opinion, the Supreme Court specifically ordered a special election be conducted as part of the general election on November 5, 2024. Because this is a constitutional amendment, all voters, even those outside of the Kansas City area, will get to vote on this referendum during the August 6th primary. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.